In the Boy Scouts of America, the mission is to prepare young men to make ethical and moral choices over their lifetime. In Texas, brave and dedicated community leaders united to uphold those values and form the first black troops in Houston. These are the pioneers who paved the way for all races, religions, and genders. This is their legacy. These are their stories. What do you know about those? I really don't know a lot about them directly. It was just hearing about the history of them. There were some old pictures laying around back there. And some of the people who were in the scouting program often talk about what they did. And, and at the time, they were hoping they could get a scout troop back in the church. And uh, you just often hear the things that they did and how many Our children, we, we, we raise our children to do great things. <laughs> Could have gone further, but at that time, girls were on my mind. <laughs> well, you know, resor resourcefulness, I, I think of that, you know, being respectful toward others, honest with other people, kind of like part of the scout slogan and scout motto, trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. I still remember that stuff. Oh, nice. They embedded it in us back in the day, you know. And and uh, what was it? Uh, uh, do a get good turn daily, yeah. uh, you know that stuff. Those things. I mean, I've I've lived it. Those things coupled with the fact of having good parents. We both were fortunate enough to have excellent parents that taught us right from wrong. You know, keep your nose clean. You know, mischievous just like any other kid. You know, mm -hmm. school get into trouble a little bit, but uh, nothing major or anything like that. But uh, but uh, that was that was. I think I think scouting really today. I look at the kids, the youngsters, and the, and the older kids now, and some of the things that are happening. If they had gone that path down the, the scout program path today, be a much better world in terms of the guys. And then same thing for girls. Let me explain to you my spiritual awakening. Okay. But it was here. In scouting. In scouting. Because when the first time, the very first time I went on a scouting trip outside of Houston, went to Camp Strait in uh -huh. Conroe. Right. Mm -hmm. In Conroe. And so we had men, you know, and I'm out. This is the first time I've been outdoors, you know, mm -hmm. overnight. Outdoors, overnight, and sleeping in a sleeping bag on the ground. All that. No tent. No, you, no, we had a tent. Okay. We but had a know, tent. But it was one of those A frames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had an A frame. And you know, and, no was, and then you're laying down at night, you know, and it was it was just so peaceful and it was so calm and it's dark.
completely dark. You know, all you can see is the stars and the moon. Yeah. And it was the 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 the, the presence, the was like it made you aware that there was some other more intelligent being, a god that created all this. I understand that Wheeler got their idea of a Boy Scout troop from Pilgrim. Yes, they did, and Wheeler just celebrated 50 years of scouting. My wife, my wife was a very staunch advocate of black boys growth, and we didn't have a scout at that time, a scout troop in Houston, I think, except Pilgrim Congregation. Is that right? Yes. I think. who made our weed load and uh, they took us over there and I we joined um, Troop 242 Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church with uh, Reverend uh, Bill Lawson was the, the pastor and his youth program was the Boy Scouts of America program and so that's how we got started in scouting and they were in the business of training young black men to become leaders and so uh, the leadership program there was the Eagle Scout so I made Eagle Scout in 1969, along with my brother and several other people. 